What's good, YouTube? It's your boy TVK, and so I am finally here in Los Angeles. I'm staying at my friend Mark's place, Mark Bassett. He is amazing. Right now, his channel name is Cello Bassett. Go check out some of his amazing covers of video game music. He's amazing. He's so inspiring to me. Anyway, I'm about to do some practicing before I go and meet not only a Patreon supporter, but a friend of mine named Chrysanthi Tan. She is dope. And we're going to talk Patreon. We're going to talk YouTube. We're going to talk a whole bunch of stuff and possibly even talk about doing a collab. So it's going to be great. This is going to be a good day. This is going to be a great day. Let's go. You know, something tells me that this LA traffic is going to be cray. You know, it actually wasn't that bad. Cool. There she is. You're here. I'm here. It's nice to meet you. You too. Finally. I know. Wait, we've never met. No. Oh my god. Ooh, baby. Oh. <laughs> All right, party people. I'm here with the woman of the hour, Chrysanthi. And I wanted to just take a moment and ask her the question I always ask my friends. If you could go back in time and talk to your younger self, what is that? What What would you say? Whole. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to take that child yeah. <laughs> and tell her that her mistakes are not the end of the world. Wow. I love that. Because I have to tell you a story of I was very shy and very unsure of myself. Mm -hmm. But I was very, I mean, I guess what one could consider smart and like, mm -hmm. you know, all kids have something that's worth it about them. Mm -hmm. but we don't always realize that. So on the first day of kindergarten, the teacher asked if anyone knew how to spell the word earth. And I was like really good at, I thought I was really good at spelling in kindergarten. And I thought I was gonna like be so smart and answer. And I said, I know E-R-T-H. Yeah. And she went, no, Chrysanthi, it's E-A-R-T-H. And I felt so, so ashamed. I was so ashamed. I yeah. sat down and I never spoke again in kindergarten. And on the last day of school, the teacher, like, the teacher told my parents, I thought, we thought your daughter was just, you know, not smart. She yeah. never talks. Yeah. And then the only reason she knew I wasn't is because I, like, you know, we had book tallies and, like, I read the most books in the class and, like, she could see from my work. But, like, because I didn't want to speak or share my opinions because I thought I was wrong or like that I was going to be embarrassed. Like I never did. That's like a huge, that was huge for me. But so you would go back and tell your younger self that that's not the case. Like it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to make a mistake. It doesn't mean that your, you as a person are wrong. It's like this one thing is wrong. Like, yeah. and that's okay. But that's and you're human. still. Yeah, it's human, and also that it's not the end of the world, and yeah. that you might be stewing in it and mm -hmm. thinking like, oh my god, everyone is looking at me, this yeah. mistake, next month everyone still remembers my mistake. They really are not. Yeah. They, that, they that, probably that. forgot, at least they forgot two minutes after. Two minutes, oh and my god, fact, so looking, true. Looking back on it, the yeah. teacher is probably like, hey, you're in kindergarten, and you, you almost got it right, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, like, how do you, how would you know there's an A there? We're just so hard on ourselves with mistakes and yeah. with thinking that people are that people are looking at us and, and shaming us, and sometimes they are, and they're just being a hater. But a lot of the times, like, no one's paying more attention to ourselves than ourselves. And it's Bink, almost you said it. You it's said almost it. like now I'm now I think to myself, oh, it's almost arrogant to think everyone's looking at me because exactly. they're actually probably not. They're, um, they're people, most I'm lucky time, yeah. if they give that much. Yeah. Money. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they center their attention on me. Yeah, really. Wow. Thank you. That was so valuable. I appreciate what? it. Tan. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. What is it? YouTube.com slash Tan, which I'm sure you can't spell, but... I will I will link it below. Link in the description. Card up. I can never remember which side, but there's yeah. a card up it's here like flashing. Yeah. But uh, Chris and Titan, thank you so much. Thank you, Drew. Yay. <laughs> All right, so that was beyond a lovely time. Uh, Chris Anthony is such a good human. <laughs> so glad I finally met her. So now I'm gonna go meet another new friend. Her name is Shanice, um, and she's a pianist. So just out here meeting people. Like, that's what I'm here in LA for. I'm just meeting people and building connections. Because in the, at the end of the day, if you're a musician, it never hurts to know more people.
and make new friends. So always be open to that. Let's go. Oh, brother. A tight fit. I don't know if I'll fit. Oh. Oof. Oof. Yo guys, so I'm here with my friend Shanice, my new friend. Uh, she's a pianist here in LA. You're at UCLA, right? Yes. Yeah, I have. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna ask her a question that I like to ask everybody. Let's today's just gonna be an interview day. Sorry. Ugh. Here she is. Hi. Okay, nice so to nice to meet you. Well we we had like a two hour long conversation yeah. almost. It was, it was awesome. so nice to see me today. Thank you so oh, much for your time. Seriously, I don't have anything to do. But <laughs> I can't. Do that. <laughs> You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Anyway, so um, I asked an, a friend earlier, um, if you go, go, go back in time, what would you say to your younger self? Today, I want to ask you, how do you specifically handle failure? Like, what could you say mm -hmm. to people out there like that really? Uh, can help them deal with rejection and continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. So any type of rejection, correct? Yeah, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's anything, really. For example, when I was young, I was very scared of performing. Really? I was very scared. So as I was playing, I didn't do well on this one performance in, high, in middle school. Mm -hmm. And as I sat down on my piano, I had to think why. Like, why did I play so bad? Mm -hmm. It's important to kind of recognize how you're failing. Like, I was video recording myself that yeah. time. Mm -hmm. So I had to look at my fingers, like, at my everything, at my posture. Yeah. So I feel like you kind of have to go through and review yourself to see the mistakes in okay. order to improve okay. your next performance or okay. even failure. So you just have to set time and just go through and rethink of what you did, mm -hmm. and then you'll find those little like details mm -hmm. to see why you failed. So what you're saying is you're taking that experience of failure, right. and instead of like shutting down and saying, I'm not good enough, right. you're taking it and treating it as a learning experience exactly. to then execute in the future. Right, because that failure makes you stronger. Yes, 100%, but only if you take the time to do what you said, analyze, right. uh, assess, and mm -hmm. figure out what you can do better in the future. Exactly. I think it's super important. Because I feel like, you know, if you don't reveal your failure, then you'll fail the next time as well, obviously. Yeah. And then and then you're you're gonna have more data to support the fact that maybe you're not cut out for it. Exactly. When that may not be the case. Right. So that's why, you know, you can't just be like, oh like I'm too scared to perform so I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. So So you have to look fear in the face and just say Oh, I can't say that. Yeah. <laughs> I know yeah. everything is everything's about risk. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Everything is about risk. My my teacher was like, you gotta just risk it. Like, don't play it in slow tempo always. Like, you gotta play it fast sometimes. So you gotta take it to the normal tempo yeah. that is played on YouTube yeah. or something. Yeah. So that's why you know you always risk. have to play with, yeah. I just love go that out word. there. Thank you. <laughs> risk. Every time I hear it, it just tingles down my spine. It's like, ooh, oh. it could it could be a total. <laughs> <laughs> Disaster, but, but or it could be the most amazing thing you or anyone has ever heard. Because everybody fails at one point, yeah. and that's where you think of like how special you can be the next performance. Because mm -hmm. like that failure will mean something to you, that only person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta you just gotta believe in yourself and just gotta do it. That's that's my advice. I love to the it. people Thank on the other you. side. Thank yeah. you, Thank Shanice. you for interviewing it. me. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. Do you have it? You want yes, to, I do. Uh, plug it? So, okay. Well, it's Shanice Aaron. It's uh -huh. my first name and last name. Mm -hmm. So you just have I'm to... I'm going to link it below. Yes. So, yeah. So just go and yeah, click that the description link. Description <laughs> in the description or the one of these. I, yes. I still don't know which side the actual <laughs> card will be. But yeah, yes. go check out, her, go check yeah. out our, her channel. All my solo and chamber repertoire there. So please... Mm. And check out. You heard, you heard her. I mean, check out, his. Check out, check out mine because you're already here. Hi. What a lovely young lady. Happy I met her. She's really cool. So now we're going to head back to the apartment and we're going to play some music with Mark. Yeah. I'm going to try to do some recording. <gasps> Guys, this vlog has the potential to be very lame and I apologize for that. It's different when you're not in New York City because when you're driving everywhere in LA, it's not smart to vlog when you're driving. <laughs> so I've only been able to like, capture the spots where I'm talking with people. So I'm sorry if that's boring, guys. But you know what? I'm working on music here. Mark just went to go get a stand. We're actually gonna play some music. We're gonna play the two eyeglass obligato. We're gonna rehearse it. And then I'm gonna spend some time tonight recording uh, because 
because the reason I'm here in LA is because I realized I need to make more musical content for this music channel. Makes sense, right? So during my stay here, I'm gonna do my best to vlog it, my experience and things like that, but I'm actually gonna be spending a lot of time playing and trying to make actual content that you guys are here to see. So thanks for coming along and, and uh, Mark, Mark should be back any minute. He should be back any minute. Mark, oh my God, you're back. I've been waiting for so long. Dude, I found a dollar in my pocket. Really? Nice. <laughs> Yum, taking a bite out of crime. All right, let's go. Or I got watermelon juice in my cello. Don't do that at home, kids. <laughs> Don't get watermelon juice on your cello, unless you're Mark Bassett. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Going, dude. We're gonna get some uh, some uh, chimichangas. Is that what they're called? Uh, empanadas. Empanadas in a, in a side. In a side bowls. Let's get it. We hungry. Let's get that guess. <laughs> run, run. Do we do it? Success. <laughs> it turns out that Mark and I came back, drank a couple beers, and just played bot cho sweets for like two hours and then passed out. So that's that's kind of what happened. Hope you enjoyed the day. Don't forget to play homie play. <laughs>